prepare to be astounded by some totally mind-boggling information that has been delivered directly from the Internal Revenue Service. In the event that you are getting benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs, Social Security, SSI or SSDSDI, you will not want to miss out on this game-changing information. Get ready to experience a surge of happiness because the Internal Revenue Service is about to release a wave of stimulus checks worth $2,000 to those who are eligible. You read that correctly, guys. A shocking revelation has just been made by the Internal Revenue Service IRS, which is causing shock waves to spread across the country. A total of $2,000 is being distributed to those who are participating in these essential benefit programs. Furthermore, I want to make it clear that this is not a typical news message. What those who have been struggling to make ends meet should consider this a savior in their time of need. Take a look at this. You are having a hard time making ends meet and you feel like you are drowning in expenses and then all of a sudden, bang. The Internal Revenue Service IRS has come through with a generous aid of $2,000 which has the potential to be a game changer for a great number of individuals and families. The act of providing assistance at a time when it is required the most is comparable to discovering a ray of light in the midst of a dark night. Wait, there's more to it than that. We are going to delve deeply into the specifics of the situation in this enthralling video. In this section, we will discuss who is qualified to receive this opportunity when you may anticipate receiving it and the actions you need to take in order to guarantee that you get a piece of the pie. In order for you to make the most of this excellent opportunity, we are here to provide you with all of the information that you require. At this point, let's discuss eligibility. If you are currently receiving benefits from the Department of Veterans Affairs, Social Security, CSI or SDR, in I am congratulating you. You have already reached the halfway point. There are, however, a few essential requirements that must be satisfied. You must have been receiving these benefits before to December 2023 in order to be eligible for the stimulus payment and the amount that you get on a monthly basis will determine the amount that you receive. It is not need to be concerned for individuals who receive less than $2,000 every month. Your stimulus will consist of the full monthly benefit that you are entitled to receive. Moreover, if you are bringing in more than $2,000 a month, what do you think? Your eligibility for the full stimulus package of $2,000 has not changed. With double payments, married couples who receive Social Security benefits can experience twice the pleasure of getting their benefits. Limit of $2,000 per person as the maximum amount. On the other hand, you should keep your hats on because we are not yet finished. Uh, whether you are receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI or Supplemental Security Income, SSI, the guidelines will still be in effect and the amount of your stimulus payment will be determined by your disability benefits. Veterans, you as well, are not excluded from this discussion. Also eligible to receive this substantial windfall are those who have received a compensation and pensions, including surviving spouses and dependents. And right now, I am aware of what you are considering. When will this monstrous amount of money be deposited into my bank account? Due to the fact that the time is somewhat of a waiting game, buckle up is the appropriate response. The wheels of bureaucracy are spinning slowly, despite the fact that the stimulus measure was signed into law in March of 2024. But do not be afraid, my dear friends. It is anticipated that the initial wave of payments will begin to be distributed at the beginning of the summer of 2024. On the other hand, let's not sugarcoat things. It's possible that the path to financial relief will be a little bit rough, given the millions of payments that need to be processed and the logistical challenges that need to be solved. There is a possibility that waiting for everyone to receive their share of the pie could take several months. Rest assured, however, that the Internal Revenue Service and other agencies are working to the fullest extent possible to guarantee that every eligible recipient receives their fair share. Now, here is the question that everyone is talking about. Do you think that $2,000 is sufficient to make a difference? This stimulation could mean the difference between life and death for a great number of people in a society where the cost of living is increasing. Uh, but for some people, it might merely scrape the surface of the problems they are having with their finances. We are interested in hearing your thoughts on this matter, which is now the subject of a contentious debate. Put your farts in the comments section below and tell us about them. In the past year alone, the cost of groceries has increased by more than 10%, as indicated by the most recent data. Nevertheless, hold on, that is not the end of it. The costs associated with housing, which include rent, have increased by an astounding 8%. Take a deep breath and relax. During this same period, the prices of prescription drugs have increased by more than 6%, while the cost of energy, including utilities and gas, have increased by double digits. In light of the current inflationary tempest, consider the following. For individuals who are already struggling to make ends meet every month, even the smallest amount of additional income might be a lifesaver. However, here is the question that is worth a million dollars. For households with lower incomes that are struggling to keep up with the unrelenting increase in the cost of living, would a one-time payment of up to $1,000 really be sufficient relief? Take a look at this. An additional $2,000 is like a financial lightning bolt for people who are dependent only on programs such as Social Security Insurance, which typically amounts to approximately $650 per month on average. They are able to catch up on payments, pay down debt, cover medical expenses, or stock up on basics thanks to the fact that their income is increased by a factor of three for a single month. However, after the $2,000 lifeline runs dry after a few months, beneficiaries find themselves right back at square one, squeezing every penny out of that fixed $650 monthly stipend that fails to keep pace with the ever-increasing cost of living. 
the people who are feeling the pinch are not limited to those who get SSI. It is the same situation for many people who get payments from Social Security or the VA, economists, analysts and even renowned personalities have raised their voices in an effort to urge Congress to explore a solution that is more sustainable. They are struggling to keep afloat in the stormy sea of mounting expenses, a one-time check of up to $1,000 as opposed to a series of smaller monthly payments, possibly a few hundred dollars on an ongoing basis. It is unfortunate that the political arena is currently a battleground and the prospects of regular monthly payments appear to be bleak in the current environment. To put it simply, what exactly is the purpose of this stimulus package? Furthermore, what are the odds of long-term reforms being implemented? I want everyone to hold on to their chairs because this is where things are going to get juicy. The next presidential election in 2024 is looming huge and inflation is the primary concern of voters' economic concerns. Behind the scenes, political motivations are going through a whirlwind. A race is taking place between the two parties to establish themselves as the leaders of the financial relief movement. The proposal for the stimulus package, which originated in the White House, is regarded as an important step toward fulfilling a long-standing campaign promise to provide direct cash assistance to senior citizens, those who are disabled and veterans who are having difficulty. The purpose of this effort is to garner essential support from voters who are older and more susceptible in advance of the heated election that will take place in 2020. But hey, how about getting this legislation through Congress with such a divided majority? I would not call that a stroll in the park. The opposition alleges that the government is engaging in excessive expenditure and giving control of inflation a higher priority than assisting people who are in need, despite this through deaf maneuvers in the legislative process, a narrow path to approval emerged, although one that required major concessions on the front end. In order to leverage bipartisan support for expenditure on veterans health care, the $2,000 relief checks became interwoven with a separate bill for the benefits of the Veterans Affairs health care programs. The whole stimulus package was drastically reduced by an astounding 75% going from $300 billion to $80 billion as a result of this agreement, which came at a cost, though. Therefore, it was necessary to reduce the amount of money that was proposed for future monthly checks and limit relief to a single payment by increasing the stringency of eligibility requirements, which leaves some groups that were initially targeted chilly. Both sides are now posturing, getting ready to pounce on the aftermath of this stimulus fiasco since the dust has finally settled for the moment. A strong financial aid confrontation is coming up in the run-up to the 2024 election, and the discussion is raging over whether or not it is better to over-address rising costs or to put more cash into the economy. On the recent news made by the Internal Revenue Service IRS on the stimulus checks of $2,000, I would like to express my gratitude to you for turning into this important video update particularly for people who have been going through difficult times financially, the impact of this news cannot be understated. Your proactive actions to ensure that you do not lose out on this essential support include keeping yourself informed about the qualifying requirements and the schedule for distribution. Individuals who are receiving monthly benefits from federal programs such as Social Security, SSI, and similar programs are the primary recipients of these stimulus checks, as we have investigated. Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, as well as payments for any pensions or VA benefits. A wide range of people are included in this category, including veterans, disabled people and retirees. Everyone who stands to gain from this much needed financial assistance for themselves and their families. Having said that, it is essential to acknowledge that the dissemination of these payments is a complex and multifaceted process. Uh, because of the logistical hurdles involved in administering such a large-scale one-time payment, careful planning and execution are required, despite the fact that the act was signed into law. As a result, in light of the fact that estimates imply that the rollout might potentially extend into late summer or even fall, it is reasonable to assume that there may be delays in the receipt of the stimulus checks. It is essential to maintain patience and vigilance in spite of the difficulties there are. Maintain a level of awareness of the official updates that are being provided by the relevant agencies. These updates will provide clarity on the eligibility criteria and distribution schedules. In addition, if you are unsure about your eligibility or require additional support, do not be afraid to connect with official channels in order to receive direction.